Well, I wasn't sure if we were going to get this off, so that's something. Stirring all this garbage is going to be problematic. We're Chris and Sandra. In 2022, we bought a boat we named Bataway. On a foggy May morning, we said goodbye to Port Dover and headed down Lake Erie, through the Welling Canal, and on to Lake Ontario. We had a summer of fun boat projects and explored Lake Ontario and the famous Canadian Heritage Canal System, the Trent Severn Waterway. We met some great people and saw amazing sights in beautiful Ontario. We've got plans to overhaul the interior of Bataway in the spring, so join two not-so-young kids as we dive headfirst into our 2023 adventure. March 18th, back at the boat. <laughs> Just going to check that it's there. Don't think we're going to do much. This is really slippery. I don't know if it's slippery where you're walking. A little bit. It's the ice link. you go check in at the office? Yeah, we should probably do that. Although it looks like they're working at the front. Hopefully we can get in. There she There's is. Quite a few cars. Still wrapped up nice and tight. So here it is. We left before they wrapped it, so we've never seen it with the wrapping on. There's my name. I did the paperwork. Not sure we're gonna do much else. It's got breathing caps. I never didn't realize they did that. Oh yeah, up there. Oh yeah, that's how we get in, I guess. Yeah, I think you actually nobody ever cut into it, which is not a big deal. But... Oh, you mean that there's yeah, to get in we have to cut into the second layer. Yeah, you know, the more, it's, like, it's, our bottom page chips all over the place. Well, look at on the skeg. Skeg, well, we always do that. But it's peeled up, the blue paint. Was it always like that? Yeah. Hmm. It's like that when we bought it. Anyway, it's hard to tell what the difference, and if there's any differences, because it's all wrapped up. Pretty tight. Things are all frozen, probably. Well, well, well. If we get good old L16, we could go in any time. <laughs> if we get L L16, we could go in any time. Yeah, I don't think I need to break an arm. I'm not going to come down there. Yeah, the only boat in here is their work boat. Yeah, it's like pure ice. All right, make the return trip down the roadway. Yeah. Last fall, we saw this ship leave this exact harbor out to the middle and turn around and take off and it came back and it's uh, ice locked in here and everyone's been waiting for the big icebreaker to make it here to free the ship and we're back in Midland just got here this morning and just in time to watch this ship come in once in a lifetime For me, anyway, because I sure as hell hope I'm not here in the winter time next year.
long ways from Georgia. Yeah, not exactly spring. It snowed last night and you can see it on the ground. There's about two, I don't know, an inch, two inches. Extra. Extra. But the uh, forecast for the next couple of weeks is all above zero during the day. So hopefully this was kind of the last gasp of winter. And we're going to get on the boat today and take a look around. We want to grab a few appliances to make life a little easier at the uh, Airbnb that we're staying at. And um, yeah. So here goes nothing. This is where we find out that if you poke a hole in the plastic, whether the whole thing falls off. Oh, you're not tall enough. This could be a problem. Toes. Okay. I don't know how we're going to do this. What do you mean? Well, even if we cut this out. You said you'd, we, you know, we can, um. Yeah, but I, I don't want to tear this down, right? We need a, a ladder. All right, well, let's get it. Should we get it cut or do you want to go find a ladder? Get it cut. <laughs> Looks like a boat. I'm sorry. Laterally or too far away? I can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> Temptation to sit on your back is very strong. Okay, do you want me to give you a bum? No, I'm joking. Do you want me to give you a bum? Alright? Yeah. So I made it onto the boat. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. And I don't know what I've framed here. But the... Uh, Damp proofs look like they've worked really well. They're all full of water, about half full, maybe two thirds full, I'm gonna say. That's good, that was their purpose. Other than smelling like damp proof, the boat smells good. So I think that worked well. Um, Sandra wasn't able to make it up onto the boat because she's a bit shorter than I am and we don't have a proper ladder. Um, and the door, isn't cut down to the level of the uh, swim platform so it wasn't easy to get her in. So I'm going to take a few measurements and I'm also going to look for the blender because we want the blender. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So the reason I'm taking measurements is we're thinking of redoing the galley. We want to put a bigger fridge in. We pulled all the propane appliances out last spring and we want to put new electric appliances in. So I've been sketching things over the winter and now we're going to just take a bit of a look. Right, I think I'm done. We're uh, talking about putting a uh, 
bigger sink. This one's 14 inches by 10 inches. I think the one we've currently got specs on is more like uh, 14 by 17, maybe. Something like that. Wider fridge, which means less space back here, but we figure it'll be worth it. Uh, anyway, I've got a few measurements. I can kind of figure out what's going on here. So it's March the 26th and I just got over a pretty bad cold and um, we were down on the boat, as you can see, and we were down here. We've been down the last couple of days, taking a few measurements. We cleaned out some of the drawers, but we really haven't done anything yet. So today's the day, uh, it's after lunch, but we're gonna start now. Uh, and so what we're gonna start doing is demolishing the galley area. So I think what I'm gonna do, because we want to, um, we don't want this kind of sticking out into the room. So this is gonna be removed and possibly flipped 90 degrees and then put right up against the wall. We'll see, might have to build something else. But regardless, this is gonna come out and then I'd like to recover the kitchen counter as much as possible, the galley counter, if I'm being correct, uh, because I need a template. And this makes a pretty good template because it's the exact size we want. Last year, we spent six months on the boat, kind of got a feeling for what we didn't like, what we liked. And also uh, at the beginning of last season, we took all the propane and the propane appliances out of the boat. So we've been cooking with hot plates and we've got this big gap where the stove used to go. So the galley renovation is really to make our lives more enjoyable. We want a bigger fridge. Uh, we want actual appliances to cook on and uh, probably a bigger sink, I think is one of our plans. And also we want to open this area up and then generally we want more comfortable seating. So we'll see how we do on that as well. And if we're really ambitious, we're also going to do air conditioning and heating, but we'll see how far we get. Can I start? Um, I think probably minimally we're going to want these curtains out of here. Can I detach the monitor? You could, but that's right where I'm working. No, it isn't. You're on the other side. Okay, if you think you can detach it, go ahead. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. Let go. You really have it wedged in there, man. A lot of glue. What next? Not much today, I don't think. Um, 
Are you going to try to get some more tools before you come again? Oh, I wouldn't mind getting all my electrical tools, but that implies charging them too, which is problematic right now, although not insurmountable. Well, I wasn't sure if we were going to get this off, so that's something. Storing all this garbage is going to be problematic. You could definitely see it, possibly, in between here, right? Yeah, if it gets trimmed down to the proper size. And blinds rather than curtains make a lot of sense. To me, they do anyway. But without that there, like if I go back over here... Oh, that's got to be a huge difference. I mean, that just opened up the whole cabin. And I still think knocking the top off of that is the way to go. Off the top of what? Oh, lowering it? Yeah. Bring our couch out as far as we want. Well, this has always been too far away from the wheel, I think. Yeah, but we'll figure something out. I mean, even if we... Yeah, the storage is nice, but... I just think it's such a... I mean, we've never used that storage well anyway. No, most of the stuff that's under there is the stuff that came with the boat. So I think we're going to have to do a real sweep through this whole thing and get rid of stuff we really don't use to optimize storage. Right, so I made it onto the boat. Uh, steps worked not badly. Better when I shimmed it up. And uh, here we are. So yesterday we pulled the cabinet that was here and uh, that came out not too badly it took a couple hours <coughs> I'm down here alone today Sandra's working um, so the goal today is to clean up the mess that I made yesterday and then we're going to take apart this uh, this probably try and pop the sink out first get the faucets out um, and then uh, really what I want to do is get the um, countertop off hopefully in one piece because I want to use it as the template that we're going to measure against for the new countertop so let's get started we'll pop the sink out first we'll take the electrical off and I think we'll probably take this off too. Okay, um, so wrap up for the day. Not sure if I'm framed well in this, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the galley area is pretty much completely uh, done in terms of taking it apart. There's still a few pieces here down towards the front and along the back wall that need to be cleaned up. Um, but this job is mostly done. Um, 
much like last time or that I've been looking at electrical uh, when I pulled the socket out that was up on the counter you can see yet again there's butt joints in the lines it's just common I've been running into this quite a bit and every time I find it I fix it in other words I get rid of the butt joints like I actually pulled apart the ground butt joint just taking it out as I was unthreading it from where it was so they're not very effective at least not the ones that were done so uh yeah the like I said the the galley area pretty much cleaned out so my next uh, thing that I'll be tackling not today will be the um the seating area beside the galley because the galley is going to extend into that area anyway that's for tomorrow as I'm going to take demoing this old seating area for now because we don't really know what it's going to look like when we put it back together yet. That was the fridge plug. And I don't know if you can, you probably can't tell. They've, um, they ran AC into the bottom of this box and DC into the top. Not exactly, um, uh, not the way I'd like to do it moving forward. So we'll redo that, I'm sure. <coughs> and then there's a box, there's an opening to get into the tank here and access to some wiring. Which is fine, I suppose. Little bit of work, a little bit to clean up here along the edges. Like I said, don't want to pull this off until I know if I need it moving forward. So we're going to stop working in this corner. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week when we start to put the galley back together. We're also embarking on a few boat projects below the waterline, all in anticipation of getting the boat back in the water. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of future episodes. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. And comments are always greatly appreciated. We try to respond to all of them. See you next time.